Hey, what's up everyone? I am Wolflaff and welcome back to episode 14 of the Crusader States campaign in Stainless Steel 6.4. Uh, now last time where we left off, we had just conquered Mecca. We had uh, begun the sieges of... No, uh, not happening. And Lux uh, Luxor. And we are about to basically eliminate the Fatimid Caliphate. Oh, we also began the siege of uh, Kazaria. Alright. Actually, I kind of want to meet at a city that cannot be named. Alright, let's get these guys out of here. Let's... Uh, oh, you're you're useful still. Some of these guys just aren't very helpful at this current moment. At the current stature. And size. I don't think I can leave you behind, too. Oh wait, no, we can we can retrain that. Let's let's wait a turn then. Let's wait a turn. And then we can get over to the Moors and start conquering. Alright, but I think we pretty much ended on an end turn last episode. So Yeah, let's I don't think we need to do anything else, actually. Pretty much accomplished all we needed to. Yeah, like I said, these are being recorded back to back. So, you know, this stuff is pretty fresh in my mind. It's just because I don't have time to record tomorrow. How is this even an even fight, man? We have several thousand more men than that than they do. Yeah, I want to fight that, or I want to use them in battle. That's the faction leader. That's the faction heir. This is pretty much the end of the game for them. Bring it on, Fatimids. Bring it on, Crusader States. Save. It's at only a 3 to 2, though, which is odd, because we have... I mean, we have 1,400 more men. I did the same thing again. God dang it. This is the better of the armies, though. And they're going to come to us, which is the good part about getting attacked. They've got to come to us. We've got advantage of picking where we want to fight them. And we want to fight them pretty much where we are right now. Because this is kind of... Yes, yeah, is a significant slope uh, for them to climb up. I mean, they could maybe come around the side, but I think we'll have... Our desert cavalry protecting that, and we'll have our, our general in the back because we really do not want this guy to die. Which means that they beeline for him. That's going to be not good. Not a good fight. Have brought us more men. They hope to make up in numbers what they lack in bravery. All right, we want you on aggressive right now. We need you. It doesn't matter if this dude dies. He's not a very good general in the first place. Joffrey or Jeffrey the the Bork. Jeffrey the Bork. 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 I don't know. He's not a very good general, so it's fine if he dies. But it's not cool if my general dies, because that means that everyone's morale will break. Ooh. Let's, let's weaken. Oh, let's weaken this dude. If we get their faction leader, that'll actually help a lot. Oh my god, we're destroying him. This is going great. Alright, alright. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Get back in line. Alright. And... Did I select the whole thing? Get them, get them. If we get them now. Yeah, good. Move back. We need to kill that general. 
The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain that is their servants, that is their faction leader. Will be ours. And he's the one holding the siege. Ooh, that was not a very good. Uh, <laughs> bro just died. If anyone heard that, that was hilarious. All right, Pokemon's. Desert Cavalry is about to harass us, which is really not fun to deal with. We can get these guys though. We can get their Bedouin infantry lower. First, that'd be nice. Yes. Oh, oh, we have a we have an opportunity to do something really funny. Get get this dude too. Hold up. Us. We can't go in five speed or six speed. We can't do that. <coughs> Still dealing with allergies. Love this season. I love the summer so much. Throw things. Throw things at them. Oh, they broke. Hold the line. Wusses. Um. Ooh. Shoot. Shoot at them. Oh, thank God. We're getting some help from our desert cavalry. I don't know where the... Oh, the rest of the army's fighting right now. Okay, interesting. Ooh, that's not looking good. Where are these guys there right now? Oh, you should encircle them. Actually, you should, you should... You should fight the Bedouin infantry. I believe it's, that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, Bedouin. Okay, I'm not stupid. Making it through. We're making it through. Oh my god! We finally have saviors! They're saving us! Finally! It only took forever. <laughs> Alright, I think we're actually making it through. We're surviving. We're surviving. That's not good. We're still surviving. The marinade have just been absolutely obliterated by these archers and whatnot. The enemy general lies dead. Good riddance to that I think that's pretty much it. Dog. Yeah. Praise death will break his men's resolve. That's all we needed. That's the end of the Fatimids. We don't even need to do anything else. Which only belongs to men of great virtue and valor. The end of the Fatimids has come. The age of the Fatimids is over. The time of Jerusalem has come. Aha. The day is ours, We destroyed them. They have no no more men, no no more settlements to stand on. We did it. We did it, chat. We did it, Reddit. Our main enemy is dead. Now we got a new main enemy, the Turks. For a brief moment in time during that battle, <laughs> there was a new caliph. But in fact, he did not last long. I believe there were three caliphs in that time.
All right. The richest faction. That's awesome. I like having that title. In 8,000 per turn. Not bad at all. Can I? No, I can't. There we go. Send this dude away. He needs to be retrained. Move in a new guy. Pretty standard. Oh, and we're holding the siege. That's great. It's just fantastic. As we... Uh, ooh, get this guy up. As you wish. Today's march ends. Antioch finally has a port. We can get it a ship right. I don't think that's really necessary right now. I think the population growth is definitely what we need. <laughs> We're on low tax rate, it'll grow really fast. Four point five percent per turn is a growth rate of. Let me get that my math out, guys. We're doing math here. We're doing math here in Wolf Left channels. And on the channel of Wolf Left. Got him returned it. Um, speaking is not my strong suit. 0. 0.045 times 52. Right. We're getting 200 people per turn. That's not great. But we can get increased farming production from that. Get a bakehouse lined up. We don't even... Wait, we're not even converting people. We don't even have a small church. We need to get that right now. But then, in a few turns, we'll have a settlement growth of, like, I think... It'll be it'll be great. It'll be great. Great settlement growth. The biggest settlement growth of any settlement. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I want to increase the settlement growth because I want the foot soldiers for hospitaliers. Ready to say. Alright. Belgium ready and able. Ready and able. Ready to say. Living ready and able. Boarding our ship, senor. Ready to say. Join that. Joining the fleet, senor. Join us that. Ready to say. Breaking from the fleet. I don't know what to do with these guys, though. It's the issue. I don't know where to send them. I think we can send them to foreign shores. Send them, send them to the moors. I, I, yeah, I really don't know what to do with them. Because I really don't want to go to war with Byzantium. I think we can maybe work it out, you know? Gotta roleplay a little bit. Can't just betray my allies randomly. <coughs> I think the second army, though, we're just going to transport them up the coast. So this one right here. Uh, Ready and able. With honor. Okay. Actually, that's something we could do. We could just transport them up the coast. Eh, I don't like that as much. Trying not to go to war with Christian nations, you know. Be a good, be a good Christian. Sweet. Uh, Orders. Ready and able. Sultan. Cool. Be behind those dudes. Move west. Oh, and Luxor. What can we repair? We can't repair anything, unfortunately. Mm. Alright. Uh, what do we want? What do we want here? I don't know what to do with these guys. These just, I have too many men and not enough places to attack. So I think we keep them around where we where we have them now. And eventually we're probably going to have to go to war with Byzantium. Senior. 
yes. Hold this. Seigneur, our men are exhausted, Seigneur. We shall camp here. Sorry about this boring episode. Let's let's take something now. Let's let's do something with our time. I mean, it's highly likely we just kill this guy immediately, but you know. Quick death for him. Pope Eugenius? Dude, what kind of name is Eugenius? Pope Eugenius the Third. We all seeing this? We all seeing this? Whoever? Yeah. Alright. Oh, we only have. Oh, we have two siege towers. Let's get. Yeah. Let's get our holy warriors. Oh right, hold up. Wait, this the this the settlement is literally fine. But we can't get killed in the settlement. We're not we're not losing this. We only got one unit. It does look really cool though. But yeah, ladder sea towers are not very good in this game. They're good at assaulting cities. They are not particularly good at assaulting castles, because castles can have multiple layers of defense. I think, yeah, I think citadels literally have three separate walls you have to go through. So you need a battering ram to break through those walls and need ladders to uh, assault them, to, to, to get on top of them. Which is why uh, sieges in this game are really good, in my opinion. They're the best, some of the best sieges uh, of any game. Or any, any Medieval 2 game, at least. Or any, not Medieval 2, any Total War game. These have the best sieges. Just because... The amount of like stuff you can do with what you have is, is good. It's, it's a good amount of now stuff. You can do a lot with different siege equipment. Uh, it's it brings an interesting dynamic. You obviously can't move a siege tower into the walls of a city because uh, you can't fit it through the door. But you can get ladders through a door. If you just take them we have or take them back. You can pick them back up again. All right, now these guys get in there, just give them hell. You guys should move up there. I think another game or another Total War game that I kind of want to play on, uh, play on this channel that I suck at. I, I suck balls at this one. I mean, I don't have the hours that I do in this one, uh, in this game, in Medieval 2 that I do in Attila Total War. It also has very fun battles, very good battles. The campaign's kind of shit. I'm gonna be honest, the campaign's just not good. Uh, or at least the aspects of the campaign. Like, I'm I'm sorry, it's just not fun to have to put down 50 rebel armies again and again and again. Maybe it's slightly realistic, but also it's kind of retarded. It just is. What are they doing? I told them to run. Oh my god. Where are... These guys. They're oh. Oh, this is one of those kinds of settlements where it's just totally fucked. Remains. Didn't want to lose the Turkish horse uh, Turkish horse archers. But you know, at least we have the Turk cavalry. They're pretty good. Get him! Get him, Dad, get him! Ooh, that's ugly. Ooh, that's 30 people dead. Ooh, that's... How are they killing so many? The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain well, I mean, we're losing like one unit for, to ours. kill one of the hardest to kill units in the game. The enemy general lies dead. Good riddance to that Saracen death dog. All right. Praise death Everyone else, break is stop resolved. shooting. Stop shooting. They can take care of the rest in their own, I think. Yeah, get him. 
There we go. The enemy flees the ball of Christendom will be all. That should have taken longer than it did, but you know, we, we, we were just screwing around God a little bit. And I was explaining some parts of Medieval 2 that uh, some of you newbies out there who, you know, may not be as familiar with the game should probably know. It's just not as good and effective to get siege towers. Yes, they look cool. They look really cool. But they're just not that good. Like, they're, they're good for assaulting cities. So if you're assaulting a city... And it, it's a heavily uh, walled city, then, you know, maybe, maybe you want to get siege towers, but also they can be destroyed. Ladders cannot be destroyed. They're the only, like, fully 100% reliable piece of siege equipment. Now, your guys will absolutely get destroyed once they get onto the wall. But if you're assaulting well and smartly and using more spread out attack than my dumbass is, then you should be fine. I'm just doing this for the fun of it, honestly. I, I'm not trying to play the most effective campaign possible. If I if I was, I don't think I'd only really have how many settlements? Twenty-two settlements on turn forty-two. I mean, I probably would have exploited the crusade a lot more. I'm just trying to have a good time, and it's a pretty fun campaign. Speaking of having a good time, <laughs> no, I'll eventually do it. Alright, we can finally disband these guys. We got no point in having them anymore. Uh. Ready and able. All right, bring these guys back up. With honor. Ooh. Setting camp. Another unit. Senior. Alright, I think it's the end of the turn. That is the end of our turn. What do we want to do? Mm -hmm. Orders. Your Majesty. Yes. Yeah, that's definitely the end of the turn. The enemy lay siege. The oriflamme shall not fall. All right, King Denmark is dead. The Roman Empire is dead. What? There will be much honor in defeating you. Okay, that's interesting. Ready to say? Oui, Seigneur. Oui, mon roi. Oui, mon roi. Full set. We sail no further this day, mon roi. Yeah, let's. We're just. We're going on our own little crusade. Our own little escapade uh, over to the Moorish lands. I'm gonna. Can ask for a crusade. Oh! Wait, the HRE's excommunicated. Wow, they don't even want to go after Granada. Oh! Yes! I got one! I can't believe that actually worked! Like, we have high standing with the Pope. I just didn't expect him to actually accept a crusade on Granada. It wasn't a high target list. Like, he really wants to go out the HRE. I just don't think that's a good idea. And it's not within, you know, my directive right now. Although, because they're excommunicated, I think this justifies me taking uh, the the funny city in Iraq. As you wish. If I'm, 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 I'll consider that. Leave me alone. Ready and able. Yeah, I'll, actually, I'll, yes, I will go do that. We're going over there, right now. Oh wait, we gotta move this guy over too. Oh, we have a princess. Did not know that. Who's our current king? Did he just die? No, he, he died. Already. 
Our current king is Baudini the Honorable, who's 75. Jesus Christ. Has Blamon died yet? No, he's 82. He's rocking it. Hell yeah, dude. This dude's gonna make it to 500. He's like a secret occult leader or something. Ready and able. We I have no clue what they're doing. Yeah. I'll just... Okay, interesting. I'll hold out for like a second. I don't really need to get that done now. If Allah is willing, you will leave me alone. Ready All right. and able. How may I serve, Sultan? Ready and able. Your Majesty. Orders. 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 There we go. I finally glitched Ready it. Ready and able. Sultan. No. Orders. Yes. Orders. Your Majesty. Dang. Ready and able. How may I serve, Sultan? Yes. All right, let's move out. Ready and able. It's very unfortunate. We can't really go that way. I guess we gotta go west, but we also can't go that way. That's a fortress. Okay, that's that's cool. Combining your forces, Seigneur. Oh, we can get a Destin guard. Dude, that stuff's so cool. They're so cool. They're awesome. I love the Odessan Guard. Uh, maybe it's time we break some alliances. Madame needs a rest. Your odors, mon roi. Très bien, seigneur. Oui, at once. All right. Uh, I think they'll land here, and then we'll have the movement points. Necessary. Who holds that? Okay. You know what? No, I can't do that. I was I was considering for a second just breaking everything. And oh wait, hold up. We can we can join. Yes. Even though we're gonna be nowhere near the Holy Land the whole time. Let's move east. We attack! We can go no further today, mon roi. <laughs> we must resolve our differences. No. Or this is Hell no. We're about to, we're about to oh, well. rush them. Inshallah, we shall... Oh, <laughs> it's like, oh well. Close. Alright, I'll give you guys a little bit of a longer episode for this one too, just to make up for the fact that I did kind of miss uh, uploading because of the busyness of my last week, of this last weekend. Um, of course, this should come out on Tuesday. Because I'm definitely busy recording this. Or, when I would be recording this on Tuesday. For a solid, solid several hours, which is... Oh lord, I don't want to be what I'm doing what I'm doing, but I got to. Uh, join... Oh, wait, no, that's a full army. And now everyone's at war with all the Muslim factions. Guys, we did it. We accomplished my goal. We, we disembark here, man. Ready and able. Oh, crud. Hold up. Oui, what can we get? We, oui, Living, ready to say. Ready and able. Ready and able. The papacy lies to you. Do not heed them. Oh, Tortosa is uh, ready to upgrade, I think. Finally. Ready and able. Ooh. With honor. Damn. How are they getting so far east, man? We. Oui. We're not even moving close to these guys at all. That's the funny part. Oui, I'll just wait for that to maybe end as a siege. I don't know. Orders. I don't know if it will is the issue. Ready and able. Ooh. Wait, hold up. With honor. Glory 
Free to Seigneur. All right, yeah, just move back. We got everyone now joined the crusade, which is awesome. Currently, the year is 1143. Ready and able. Okay, I want to split this army into two. I gotta have those. I need those. Let's let's put all of these guys on a boat. On the yeah, on this boat. Where they will yeah, they'll be joined up with that army. Ready and able. And Balkan archers are kinda shit. But I did get rid of all my archers. That's that was not my smartest move. But hey, it worked, I guess. Okay, wait, no, no, no. Ready and able. We can move these, this dude, and that guy on. And we still have, yeah, we still have space for everyone. All right, great, 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 great. And we can get the two units of Balkan archers. Which I definitely need in this army. Ready and able. Boarding our ship, senor. Oh my god. Guys, we're moving to the Holy Land. We cannot put that course, Monwa. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. We, we disembark here, man. Ready and able. Boarding our ship, senor. Ready and right. Ready to say. Leave me be, infidel. Empty. Sink it. Wow, okay, they've, they've been making work. They've been putting in work. Ready and able. Alright. Ready to say. I think they probably have that unit, or they probably have that area. Ooh, wait. Let me check. That's Genoan. Interesting. This there we go. Now we have some stuff to take. My Crusader Empire will grow. We shall be massive. Probably overextended, but massive nonetheless. Uh. We march on our victims, Seigneur. Let us stop waiting and take six the Six turns. Ready and able. Ready and able. Yeah, this has been a cool, uh, cool episode. We got another crusade going. Plus, we mostly uh, destroyed Islam, which is a very controversial topic to be covering in this modern time. But hey, I'll do it. Wait, what? Très bien, senor. There is something you wish to speak of. There is no honor in forcing the Stalton's hand. All right, great. What do we get? That's not bad at all. They're pretty good units. They got great missile attack. Forward in melee, we could miss out that. Alright, yeah, no, we do need to get this resolved. There we go. I said I wouldn't auto-resolve stuff, but guys, I don't got the patience for rebels right now. Wait, what the fuck? Alright, let's... Let's be realistic here, guys. I'm, I'm not this forward, right? Right? There we go. Okay. That's what should have happened a while ago. Alright, moving back into the settlement. Alright. We're winning. We're winning. We win these. We win these. Um, yeah, that should end the uh, end the turn. Oh, and since all of our stuff is on Crusade, we're we're going over 
We're going over a hundred thousand. That's great. All right, we gotta know. We gotta get over here. Wait, is Maghreb now? Is Maghreb Genoan too? Oh my God, that's insane. Is like, is anybody in Islam even doing okay? I don't think they call it a single jihad as well. Maybe the AI got glitched to this game. I don't know. Or they probably may not have uh, one with high enough piety as well. That's crazy to me that there hasn't been like a single jihad. That's the thing. I could do a. Uh... Ooh, that'd be a fun crusade. A Khwarezmian crusade. Uh, uh, fun campaign. Khwarezmian campaign. Uh, Seljuk campaign. Badman campaign. Moore's campaign, I think, is the most fun. Because Seljuk would just be in the same area, but the Moors would be in such a different part of the world. And it's just a more interesting dynamic, because you have to deal with quite a few other factions. Uh... Yes. Spend money. Is there any settlement around here that the Moors... Okay, they control Greater Algeria. We, we disembark here, man. Ready and able. Andalusian infantry? I've never seen this unit in my life. It's pretty good, though. Alright, I'll take that. I'll take Oran. Closing to engage. Give the order and we'll All right, we need a little more scouting, though. We need our scout ships. They, okay, they control Clemson. And do they control... All right, they control all of, uh, of, of Morocco. That's crazy to me that this settlement is... Or that, that Algiers was taken by uh, the, the Genoans. Like, I'd expect Genoa to be, like, up in here fighting with the French and, you know, in Italy. I didn't expect them that far. Like, usually when I think of... This area, I think of Tunis. Maybe I'm just tripping, but I don't know. These are some good units, though. Fort or good, good settlements, rather. That's a good uh, settlement as well. Yeah, Granada is historically Granada was really hard to take, uh, take back for any Crusaders Ready until like technology really did not matter as much anymore. Hold up, let me. Ready and able. We scout this. Ready and able. As you wish. Alright. Ready and able. Glory to Mon Roi. We are senior. By your will. Oh, that's awesome. Closing to Wait, is it, is it already it wasn't already besieged. I'll take that. I'll take that. Ready and able. Glory to Mon Roi. We attack. We can go no further today. Oh, it was controlled by the Turks now as well. Okay, that's great. That means I don't have to go to war with uh, with any Christian faction. Because it was repossessed by the Turks. I wonder if Kuwait down here is also taken by the Turks. Okay. Get over to Hungary. Softly, senior. That's really funny. They have a random Hungarian ship in Byzantine lands. That's that's really that's goofy. Ready and able. That's stuff you'd only see in medieval too. With honor. All right, get another ship. Boarding our ship. Add it to the fleet. It's like a pagan faction. We could. There are no pagan factions in this area as well. That's another issue. We just have another attack. I don't want to attack my ally. I'm being a bitch right now. Is anyone else excommunicated? England's. Oh no. Okay. Interesting. England's not excommunicated. He just hates them. That's pretty funny. Alright, there's no way they take this, right? I need, I need Granada. I need that settlement. Oh, this one. Uh. We, we disembark here, man. Oh my God! Wait, we're in Italy. God dang it. 
Crud. Crud. Poop. Butt. No. Ready to say. Ready. Alright, get another one of these. Right? This is where we get all the crusading units. And I want them in my army. Alright, we'll get all the, the Islamic units. Move them into that. They're still on crusade, so it's fine. Ready and able. One, two, three. One. It's not enough. All right. Uh, those guys as well. Ready and able. We don't need religious fanatics, but merc I mean, mercenary spearmen are good as well. Is the issue? Are they better than our? They're better. They're the same as our Templar sergeants. I don't know. I think we can afford to. Downsize a little more. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I forgot how insane the crusading units are in this part of the world. Ready and able. We have the Great Cross. That's sick. Where do we get? Unit. The issue with these is that, like, we can't easily get to another Ready and crusading able. army within the next... Maybe we might be able to. Ready to say. Oh, we can get there. We can get there. That's Let's fine. We, we got this. We drop anchor. Ready and able. Alright. Yeah, we're doing great. That should... This army should be able to get over here and that should be able to resupply and make this a full army. Okay. Are we all good on building? We need to build more. Build. Oh, this guy. I don't know where I'm supposed to put him, but I'll, I'll put him somewhere. Uh, maybe on another boat to, the, to another Holy Land. Maybe we, we just need more generals at the moment. The issue is we don't have any good ones. Your Majesty? How can you ask this of me? Stopping here. Oui. Alright. We're going to finish up building. And then we are going to end this episode, which makes may may make you a little bit all a little bit angry with me. But, you know, we did start another crusade. We are the Crusader States, so we better start them every once in a while, as soon as we get the chance. Uh, Medina. Jousting. Oh, Lepo can get something. A uh, city that cannot be named can get something. <laughs> um, yeah, both these cities can no longer get anything still. Alright, well, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Remember, we started another crusade, so, you know, there's going to be more fun in uh, installed for us. Ready and able. I am exploiting this crusade mechanic a little more now. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.